enjoy these kachoris with your favorite chutney or sauce or as i like garam garam spicy kachori with thandi thandi meethi meethi kheer enjoy hello friends i'm shweta and welcome to shweta's easy cooking channel today we will be making aloo ki kachori and trust me friends this recipe has taken aloo ki kachori to a completely wholly different level these kachoris turn out to be really scrumptious and really tasty so let's see the ingredients and uh, if you like my video do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates on easy and healthy recipes this is 1 cup of flour now i'll add 1 teaspoon of salt and mix them add a tablespoon of ghee and mix it you can even use any vegetable oil of your choice now with the help of water we will form a dough our dough should be softer than the puri dough but a little harder than the roti dough just like the kachori dough our dough is ready now we will let it rest for 20 minutes heat up a pan and put some oil to it now i'll throw in some cumin seeds or jeera add heem or asafoetida to our cumin seeds in goes my coriander powder or dhania powder turmeric or haldi garam masala i'll keep it a little less spicy cuz my kids are also going to eat it you can put as much pepper as you want in goes my black pepper i've put a pinch of black pepper now i'll add boiled mashed potatoes and we will mix it nicely our boiled potatoes have mixed nicely with our spices now i'm going to take them out and let them cool on a plate our stuffing is ready now let's go back to our dough it has been 20 minutes and our dough is now ready to be rolled i have taken 2 tablespoon of ghee now i'll add 3 teaspoon of flour to it and make a paste you can replace ghee with any vegetable oil you like see the paste should be like this it should be smooth this should be the consistency now take a lemon size ball of the dough and we'll roll it you can dust it with flour so that it doesn't stick on your rolling pin or your workstation we have to roll it just like roti see this should be the size to which we will roll now we will spread our paste on our uh, rolled dough it's time to make the folds pick up one end and fold it half way through now pick up another end and fold it and keep it over the first flap similarly we will pull up this end and fold it half way through and then pull up another end and keep it on the first flap it will give us a nice square shape now i'll keep it in a bowl and cover it with a kitchen towel so that the dough doesn't dry out till i make all the other dough squares my dough squares are ready one cup of dough has given us five squares now i'm ready to stuff my kachoris take one square and dust it with flour and then we will roll it See, this should be the size now I've, i'll take some stuffing and keep it in the middle now pull up opposite ends and bring them half way through and uh, press them together again we will pull up opposite ends and we will press them together too now we have formed a portly now we will seal all these edges so that the stuffing doesn't come out in our kadhai 
now i will pull up all these corners and bring them to the middle and then we will press them together and we have a nice portly ready with us just like modaks we will repeat the procedure with this square too and we will make all our portlies just like i have explained earlier we will keep the stuffing in the middle then pull up opposite corners and press them in the middle again pull up opposite corners and again press them in the middle then seal the edges now pull up the corners and join them in the middle and the portly is ready now friends it's really worth it cause all of this artistry gives us the world's best and the most crunchiest kachoris i have ever tasted in my life now my kachori portlies are ready i am ready to fry them i'll fry only two kachoris at a time we will keep the flame at low to medium so that our kachoris turn out to be really crispy and golden and they get evenly cooked from the inside now i'm splashing some hot oil on the top of this kachori if you want to do it do it really carefully it's one of my mother in law's tricks now i'll turn them over see how nice and golden they have turned out our first batch of kachoris are done now i'll take them out on a plate it took 6 7 minutes to fry these kachoris see the crackle Wow. Amazing. 